Hey guys, I said in the other videos that I'm starting new projects with just going back to my roots of drawing and I'm just in the process of beginning this new artwork which requires a lot of graphite pencil. Now I've used different, this isn't a review of pencils, I'll actually do that later on. Ones that work for me the best are the Faber-Castell 9000 art set. Now the, these come, this is the softer pencils, they also have a set of the harder ones. The softer ones are better for doing drawings. Harder points, the lighter points are better for technical drawing, but for sketching and doing art, you're better with a softer set. I think you can also get a set with the two in it, but this for me is fine. But this has a set of pencils that go from a 2H right down to an 8B. Uh, and this is this is the set that I find that, that are the best for me to work with. Well, as you can see from the title of this video, this is really about a pencil sharpener. And I have found that the best kind of sharpener is a long nosed or long point sharpener, which gives you a lovely, you can see that, it gives you, gives you a lovely long, radiate it and goes right up into a very, very sharp point. You always want your pencils really, really sharp when you're doing artwork. So, I've always used a long point or long nose sharpener, but the best one I find, um, I can't always get it, my other sharpener is completely blunt, but I was able to get, a, I got four of these on Amazon, so this will do in the next two or three years, uh, <coughs> is the Kum Automatic Long Point. And it's brilliant. You'll see in the, in the footage following this clip, uh, of just how easy it is to use but I also want to show you how to use them there's brief instructions on the side of the box but I want to actually show you the, pen, the sharpener in action so where it comes it comes in that little box and this is what it looks like there's it's actually although it just sharpens one pencil it's actually got two sharpeners in it now there's another two sharpeners here but these are for you know those pencils, I don't know what you call them. They, they've got like little leads that go into them, like a pencil pen that you pull up. That's what those are for. I won't be using those, but that's what those are for if you, if you do happen to use them. Uh, but this here is the bit, the brilliant bit. And as you see, you can, you, there's two sharpeners. And the way this works, and you'll see it in action in the next clip, is you use the left hand one, first of all, if you've got a really, really blunt pencil, and you'll see in the clip that I do, you, first of all, sharpen it using the left hand sharpener. And what that does is, all it does is lengthen the lead and lengthen the bit of wood. It doesn't sharpen it, it just lengthens it. So if you get it and you try it and you go, oh dear, that doesn't look, it's still blunt, but it's very long. It's meant to be like that. So the, the left hand one you put you use first, it doesn't let you lengthen it too long. There's like a little stop, if you like. And you sharpen it until it stops, and that's the length of your lead. Then you remove it and put it into the right hand sharpener and sharpen it again. And it won't let you go any further than this little bit here. And you just sharpen it and the second sharpener is purely for bringing the length of the lead that you've already lengthened into a very, very fine and very, very sharp point. So what you're left with is a perfectly, perfectly long, sharpened, pointed pencil. And it's best for doing your drawings. Absolutely the best. So they do, they do get blunt, especially if you're doing a lot of drawing. So that's why I actually got four of them, but they will um, they'll last a good while. What is really fantastic about the Kuma ones is they give you spur blades at the back. So whenever these do actually get blunt, you just unscrew them, the blades in them, and replace them. So you've actually got you've actually got two sets in the one sharpener, so it, make, it makes it for a really good good value. 
but not all, you, you can get other ones, other makes, and they don't always give you the spur blades. And they're not always just quite as effective. Uh, the comb ones I find are the best because they sharpen each pencil perfectly. They don't split the wood and they don't split the leads very much. You'll see in the next clip exactly how they work. And now I've got a perfect set of pencils ready to get going with my next project. See you next week and bye for now. Bye.